again. In the previous video, we did set up an additional database connection for our migration. In this video, we will write three migrations to learn how to do images and media migrations in Drupal 9. Before starting, let's confirm that our additional database connection is working by running drush sqlc command. It is working. This is the module where I will be putting my migration plugins. Here I have an info.yaml file with some dependencies and an empty migrations folder. Let's start migrating files by creating files.yaml inside the migrations folder. Now let's add some basic source and destination information. Let's add some constants to the source that will be used later and a special constant that will be used by the file source plugin. With the source URI prefix, we will allow Drupal to fetch the files directly from the original site. Now let's look at the process section. I will start by adding two properties that will be used later in the migration. And finally, let's add the actual URI migration. Here we are using the file copy plugin to copy the build source URI into the build test URI. And we are instructing Drupal explicitly to not create stub elements in case it is unable to find something. With that done, let's rebuild the cache and run drush migrate status. Let's import the files. The item failed, but that's because there is a weird naming issue with a file in the source site. But the file is actually successfully retrieved. We can look at that later. It could also happen for you during migration and it's your chance to decide what to do with that. Right now, I'll ignore it to move on. Now, let's work with the media migration. This migration will also be use the D7 file source and will add a dependency to our files migration. The destination will be entity column media with a default bundle of image. Let's create the initial file. This constant is needed here because the D7 file source plugin uses it. Otherwise, it will start throwing some warnings. Let's also add the destination. Here we are adding the dependency on the files migration. Now it is time to add the process section. Remember that with the files migration, we migrated every existing file in the source site. Now we want to create image media elements only for actual images. So let's start by skipping any possible non-image file by using the skip on value plugin like this. Now let's migrate the fill media image field by using the migration lookup plugin. And finally, let's add some other basic fields. That's it. Our media migration should be ready now. One more time, let's rebuild the cache and room migrate status.
And now let's import the media item. Let's take a look at the created entities. Here are our media items. Looks good, right? It's time for a basic articles migration where we will use the created media items. As usual, let's start by creating the files and adding some basic stuff to it. Nothing special here. ID, label, tours, destination, dependencies. Now let's add some basic process fields. With this, we are migrating title, status, created, change, promote, some basic fields, setting the content type by default to article and setting some other default values. Let's also add the body field like this. So we migrate the value of this field and set the format as full HTML because we are not interested right now in mapping or migrating the text formats. Let's migrate the media field. We are using the field image destination field and within it, the subprocess plugin to set the target ID of the field image using the migration lookup plugin and looking into the media migration by the FID property. That's all that it's needed. Let's give it a try. Let's rebuild the cache and run migrate status. Let's import the articles. Let's take a look at the created articles. Look to content. Let's edit one of these articles. And here are all of the fields that we migrated. Title, the image, body, date, everything. And that's it. We migrated files, media items, and attached them to the articles migration. All of the code for this migration can be found in the links in the description. Thanks for following and see you the next time.